guys. Anyways, uh, enough memory lane. We're gonna get stuck on this. This is uh, this turns into a to do. I wanted to take a look at a seven thousand series video tonight too. Uh, anyways, PTB patch notes, basically the same thing as the developer updates, which are pre-patch notes, I guess you could say. Uh, they had the more finishing system we are not playing on the PTB. Ori's are dead, new Mori system. Last person that's not on a hook or a slug will, uh... Worried, yeah. I don't think there's really anything different here. Mori's are turned into shitty BP offerings. 45 second unbreakable, base unbreakable, I guess you could call it booby. Base unbreakable, boop. Boobs, call it boobs. EUB, base unbreakable. Bubs. You got BBT and Bubs. And unbreakable is going to change it to 22.5 seconds now instead of 45. They buffed Soul Guard. I don't know if this is different than the... Huh. I don't know if this is different than... Oh, buddy. Patch Notes? The uh, developer update. It is. <laughs> because Unbreakable and Soul Guard aren't going to be annoying enough. You now get a haste effect when you get off the ground for five seconds. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. So not only is Unbreakable going to be obnoxious, but they also buffed Soul Guard. You get 10% haste now. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't know if other, I didn't hear anyone else talk about this. This is going to be even more obnoxious. Yeah, bravo. I don't think 5-6 is enough. BHVR, based on uh, the anniversary update and what you did with BBT, I think they need to go for 10 seconds of 10% haste. Just putting that out there. Just putting, maybe you should give them like 30% action speed bonus too while you're at it. I think just to make sure that they can get some gens done in that time, you know, when they get off the ground, just to really fuck the killer. People complain about no mither, but it's basically functionally identical than it was prior to the patch. Rancor is a shit version of Noed. Yeah, they just become permanently exposed once all generated are completed. Same conditions that Noed takes to activate, only it's not the entire team. And they didn't give it the Devour Hope treatment, which is you can hook someone and they die. Devour hope. Uh, they're immediately sacrificed if they're put on the hook at five tokens. This is a nerf. This is a nerf because you have to take them to a hook. And the difference between that and killing them on the ground is the fact that Amori is uninterruptible, meaning they can't pallet slap you, they can't flashlight save, they can't get in your way and body block, they're dead. So Devour Hope got nerfed, and Rancor got absolutely destroyed. This isn't even a this isn't a perk anymore. So they buffed Soul Guard even further. Yeah, they buffed Soul Guard even more here, guys.
Reduce strobing effects, so they removed uh, clicky clicks. Removed strobing effects from flashlight. <laughs> Five years later. <laughs> Slight delay imposed between turning them on and off. You mean a second? All it would take is literally a second to make it seem like it's broken. Like they can't do it anymore. Yeah. Yes, they will. I love I love how they're like they're like throwing some shit to the killer. He's like, hey, hey guys, guess what? Here's a Mori that actually means that your character's nerves. Hey guys, we're actually taking away some functional ability from your characters just to give you this little grandstand that actually is fucking terrible. Wow, hey killers, here you go. Look at the shinies. Oh look, we took away clicky clicks because I know that makes you angry. Meanwhile, we ultra buffed unbreakable, gave it to everyone, and then we improved Soul Guard. Oh, Okay. Ah. I see. <laughs> yeah, you can't make this shit up. Why instead of the instead of the uh instead of the shinies, why don't they give me base kit noed? Why don't I get base kit noed? You know, I'll trade my shinies. I'll trade I'll trade the the clicky clicks and I will trade the new mori for oh, they aren't new moris. The teleport mori. I'll trade the teleport mori uh, for base kit unbreakable, or excuse me, base kit noed. Let's do some base kit noed, guys. What do you think? I want to do some base kit noed. I think that would be really important to us as uh, as killers. I think that would be a good trade off for base kit unbreakable is base kit noed. You know, something that completely changes the game. Yeah, that survivors have in their arsenal that you're just giving to everyone. I think killers should have the same thing. I think killers should just have base kit noed. No, why not? Oh, because we're killers. Oh, okay. Okay, we're bad. We're bad people. I got that. Yeah, no at Basket. Yeah, they, literally people just like literally with their signs and pickets on the lawn here trying still trying to get rid of Noah. I s I'll say this again, guys. I think from a, a balancing standpoint, I think this game was in the best best position prior to the anniversary update. I think the game was the best version of itself prior to Anniversary Update. I don't think the Anniversary Update... The Anniversary Update changed some things, but in general, it just made everything worse. For Killers, that is. I mean, Survivors, it improves a lot of different things. Going on, more base kit buffs to Survivors, and they still won't give them fucking Kindred. <laughs> the thing that would very much help out Solos, they don't even give to Survivors. Because why the fuck would they do that? Yeah. The one perk that is intel based and isn't a uh, swift perk they don't give to survivors kindred really only helps you if you're not on voice comps and most people that are solo are not on voice comps with anyone so yeah and if they are on voice comps they aren't on voice comps with people in their group right uh yeah the one perk that would actually help out the majority of players that are not in swifts uh kindred is not a base kit perk and instead they're giving them uh unbreakables which apparently swifts really need and and uh, BT, because apparently survivors are too fucking lazy to take one of the five anti-tunneling, anti-camping perks. We need to give them more base kit. They still don't fucking run it. It's like, no one runs Reassurance, OTR, DS, Unbreakable, not Unbreakable, uh, BT, Kinship, Reassurance, did I say Reassurance hit Reassurance? Yeah, no one runs that shit because why would they when they get free shit, right? And then on top of it, when they do get tunnel of the game, they're like, oh, don't do that. And you're like, why don't you run anti-tunnel and anti-camper perks? Oh. You're bad at the game. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> why don't you run the perks that help you out? Like, I run perks to counter what survivors are doing. Why don't you run your own perks? Because they aren't fun. And you're like, oh. All right. It seems almost like entitlement there, guys. It seems a little bit like being entitled to have fun. And when your fun doesn't align with your performance in the game, then it's not fun and the other person's at fault for you just being a dumbass. Yeah, Shattered Hope wasn't even base kit. Even Shattered Hope isn't base kit. A perk that literally should have been base kit is not base kit. Unreal. And it's not even one that would help that much. It would help. But survivors can still go totem to totem to totem and blow them up, right? They can still do it, and you still have to hunt down new boons throughout the match, new totems. And there's definitely five totems in a match, five different boons in a, in a match, I think is pretty acceptable, where they can still find totems to bless and use. It doesn't mean the perk's unusable, like the boon's unusable. 
I think that would have been very balanced, and instead they give it a perk that no one runs because that's that's a very niche perk that helps in only very certain scenarios. And even then, I don't really have that much problem with boons. Some some killers definitely do have problems with boons. There's still there's still streamers that are bitching about circle of healing, for instance. Um, but that's also because I tunnel and camp because it's the most effective way of getting rid of a survivor and lowering the power curve. The logarithmic power curve, not linear. It has to be more like this, but my fingers don't go like that. It's, it's linear is flat line. Logarithmic, it's like goes like this, right? Like drawing at weird angles because of the camera. Going like that. Because getting rid of that first survivor is a huge power boost to you and a huge power loss to survivors. Survivor power curve is not linear and it should not be linear. Survivors get the most benefit at the beginning of the game and the least at the end of the game when their some of their comrades are dead. Or dying. But yeah. Yeah, Noad even can be countered. Even Noad can be countered even prior to the anniversary update by blowing up the totems, by doing bones. And no one does fucking bones. Yeah, even today they still don't fucking do bones. And now they have uh, radar on it so they can figure out where it is because they need even more help. Bravo, BHVR. Bravo, dude. Ah. Uh, optimized Huntress. And zombies are still broken too, you know, just random shit. Let's let's talk about the fact that zombies just spawn turned off. Yeah. Dude, they fucking need to hire new programmers. Their, their programming department is incompetent. Either it's incompetent or it's uh like a uh, program disadvantage. Like that's a balancing mechanic for survive uh zombies. It's just spawning broken z spawning broken zombies. I bet if they ever fix zombies, they're gonna nerf them. I a hundred percent. Let's uh Let's write this in the stone, guys. I 100% think if they fix the zombie AI, they're going to nerf them at the same time. I 100% bet that if they buff the zombies, like, not buff, if they fix the zombies, they're also going to nerf nerf them at the same time, like movement speed or something. I bet that's actually baked into Nemesis balancing as just broken zombies. I, I've I hypothesized over the months since they've been broken, because when they were live, uh, when... When Nemesis Zombies first went live, they were very good. And then over the next two patches afterwards, the two major patches uh, from September to December last year, the AI got worse and worse until it was just garbage. Just what it is now where it's just broken, they stop, they run into stuff. Nowadays, they even just turn off next to the gens. They just stop at the gen and just turn off. Literally like a foot away from it, they just stop moving. Yeah. Can't make this shit up, guys. I don't know. They made the 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 hitbox smaller for Huntress, maybe. Huntress, as I mentioned before, has like two hitboxes. She has a terrain collision hitbox, and then she has one for survivors, so she can hit survivors behind terrain. That's how it works. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of streamers that have explained it in different ways, and I think none of them have actually figured it out. I'm pretty sure the uh, the hatchet has two hitboxes: one for terrain and one for survivors. So it allows you to hit people behind cover to deal with. Uh, a network leg, leg compensation. It's a method of leg compensation. For people that don't appear exactly where they should be. And as such, uh, good huntresses have figured out how to uh, capitalize on it. Known issues. Finishing Mori. Survivors can escape as they're down during the last survivor's standing mode, causing the finishing Mori to flow break. Finishing Mori's flow to break. Anime. Animated glitches, guys, or uh, animation glitches? Not animated. Animation glitches are like one of the biggest things in most games. 
He has a bunch of them. Bam, pick up when you down the last survivor to break the finishing Mori flow, which is animation uh, timeline, I guess you could call it. Uh, I believe they're called flows in the UE engine, where you, get, you have a bunch of different things you connect together. Actually, flow is just what they do. I, there's a name for them in the UE engine. I don't remember what it is. Look like a flow chart. It's very easy to understand. I'm out of good creamer, guys. I'm on my sweet Irish cream. It's not very good. It's uh, it's not the normal sweet Irish cream like uh, a liquid version. It's a powder, and it's not good. It just tastes fatty. A little bit of sugar and kind of fatty. Good. So, big update to Survivors. And Killer's got a shiny. Hey. Hey, look at this, guys. And then they further buffs. They further buffed Soul Guard. Uh, where was it? Take a peek here. Yeah. So they added 10% haste to Soul Guard. <laughs> yeah, so this is the developer update notes. So in last week, they decided to add an additional 10% haste to Soul Guard and for five seconds. Yeah. Rancor is still fucking garbage. They could give it the hex. They could have gave it the Devour Hope treatment where you just hooked the last guy and they didn't. They just... <laughs> what? They, they just decided that Rancor doesn't deserve to kill the guy that you're supposed to kill at the end of the game. Yeah, you can just drop him to the ground and hook him normally. <laughs> what the fuck? How is this, how is this unbiased? Like, like Rancor is not a good perk, but they just broke it. They just functionally broke Rancor. Why? Why, why would you do that? It's just a little garbage version of, of, uh, Noed. Why would you do this to Rancor? I have no fucking idea. There, and there's people bitching about uh, no mither not being good enough anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah, you know what they should have done? They should have made no mither 100% recovery speed and then made unbreakable 50% recovery speed. Uh huh? That would have made sense, right? Nope, they didn't do that. 100% recovery speed on unbreakable and then they buffed Soul Guard. Once again, guys, if you're running into people slugging, it's only at low MMR, unless something really fucked up goes wrong. At high MMR, where a uh, team tries to make too many plays and you tear it apart. Uh, for the most part, slugging only happens at like low and mid MMR, where you just keep downing survivors and just going to line with them, and they, they don't get it to each other to pick each other up. That only happens at low and medium MMR. High MMR, people pick each other up, and you won't be able to down the next guy in time to go capitalize on your other slugs. They'll just get picked up. And as such, you'll just waste a bunch of time basically just going from one person to one person, not taking health states. 
That's why I don't slug, because slugging does not work at high MR. The only time it does work is when they completely fuck the pooch, and putting aside slugging for 4K, which is... <laughs> which, that's basically icing on the cake, that doesn't even matter because it's still a win. Uh, putting that aside, like when they completely fuck the pooch and you drop a bunch of them at the hook, that's on them, and they definitely should not get a get out of jail free card. They have one anyways! Almost always there'll be someone in the group with Unbreakable. But at the very least, it requires them to have Unbreakable. <laughs> but yeah I don't know I have no idea what they're looking to accomplish here guys this is probably one of the shittiest ways because when you down someone guys for you turn them into a slug that represents basically an accomplishment as a killer uh, and they're basically trying to rip away your ability to do something with your accomplishment your your progress in the game it's like having a generator that just resets in Dead by Daily. Just imagine a generator that's going and then just turns back off. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's put this into context, guys. Like, taking away a hook from a killer is like turning a generator off. Let's say instead, uh, when, a kill, when, a, when a survivor goes down, uh, and when two survivors go down, a generator turns off. Let's do that instead. I think that would be good. No, oh, wait, no, you don't want to do that, BHVR. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that would be really disheartening to survivors, wouldn't it? It'd be really disheartening if you have your progress in the game that represents a milestone where you just have it get undone from you. And that's that's what uh, getting off the ground is, a slug is, and not being able to be hooked is, is when you have to take it away. And it's really painful when you're going to a hook and, for instance, it gets body blocked or uh, you get flashlighted out of a hook. That becomes very painful. And when you make it very easy for people to do that, it just gets angry. Like, it, it just makes makes you angry as a, as a killer. Well, good. Uh, let's highlight this, guys, and upload it to the tube.